It's 11 a.m. and you're taxiing down the runway aboard an A-10 Warthog, one of the deadliest weapons in the United States military. This aircraft may be old, ugly, and slow, but it's one of the most feared fighters in the world. To demonstrate the A-10's capabilities, the Air Force provided the Daily with unprecedented access. We mounted high-definition cameras throughout the cockpit, allowing us to bring you amazing images like never before. I'm uh, Scott Redman, Captain Scott Redman. I'm an attack pilot in the uh, A-10C Warthog. Uh, we call it the Hog. The A-10C has proven to be the most relevant aircraft uh, in this war that we're fighting right now. And it's uh, extremely capable of performing its uh, mission of close air support. It's the only aircraft ever built to perform that mission solely. I can fly low, I can get slow, uh, and it can handle uh, maneuvering in that uh, regime as well. Its slow speed allows the A-10 to loiter over its target for hours at a time. Despite its clunky appearance, the A-10 is extremely maneuverable. We can fly anywhere from 100 feet, you know, up to around probably 20,000 feet is where we're working at as far as supporting those guys on the ground. At high altitudes, the pilots can fly in formation, break away and pick apart their targets by dropping precision-guided bombs. They can swoop in to a low-level tactical approach, allowing them to deliver a blistering barrage of 30 caliber rounds. The, the 30 millimeter cannon was primarily built to uh, destroy uh, tanks uh, from the former Soviet Union. But uh, right now, uh, it's pretty much the most flexible weapon we have. This thing's a monster, a 30 millimeter Gatling gun, a cannon on the tip of the A-10, its most powerful weapon. The pilot has to bring this plane into a dive and align that cannon with whatever it's firing at. A single round out of this gun is about that big and can rip right through a tank. The sound of the gun is uh, one of its most identifiable characteristics. The bullets uh, actually go faster than the speed of sound. When you're on the ground, you get in a hostile firefight. Those A-10s, when you hear them coming in, it's the sweetest sound you can hear. You see the rounds impacting exactly where you told them to. You hear the, the sound of them firing. And you know that those bad guys, they're not having a good day. The plane is literally built around the gun. It's 19 feet long, weighs more than 4,000 pounds, and it's capable of laying down 4,000 rounds a minute, more than 70 rounds a second. When you shoot the A-10, the 30 millimeter, the aircraft shakes pretty violently. It feels like the aircraft's about to explode the first time it happens to you. That never gets old. The target is no match for the A-10's cannon. The armor-piercing rounds are 11 inches long, weigh 1.5 pounds, and travel at 3,200 feet per second. The pilot takes evasive action. He circles the target, assesses the damage, then increases altitude and climbs to safety. The A-10 is designed to survive a direct hit from armor-piercing rounds and explosive projectiles. Its entire cockpit, flight controls, and hydraulics are surrounded by 1,200 pounds of titanium. This aircraft was looking to be put away, I guess you'd say, really before uh, Desert Storm 1. Uh, Desert Storm 1, the A-10 proved itself to be uh, extremely formidable aircraft as far as close air support, raised a lot of eyebrows. The A-10's success rate was off the chart. Saddam's army watched in horror. A-10s flew more than 8,000 sorties, destroyed more than 900 tanks, and demolished more than 2,000 military vehicles. With guns, uh, with rockets, with uh, forward firing orders, such as Mavericks and free fall weapons, uh, bombs. Since then, the A-10 has played a critical role in every major conflict. There's no aircraft that we have right now that can do what the A-10 does because it was built to do close air support and because it has a 30 millimeter gun. Nothing will ever truly replace this aircraft.
At Moody Air Force Base, pilots train alongside an elite team of pararescuemen, special forces that drop into hostile territory to rescue injured soldiers and bring them back alive. When a friendly pilot goes down behind enemy lines, uh, obviously the number one objective of the commander is going to be, let's go get that guy. Uh, and when that mission is launched, the A-10 is going to be the rescue mission commander. He's going to go lead that charge with any asset that he needs uh, to pick that guy up. 